Hello everyone, welcome back to Pinky's channel. Today's recipe is a spinach or palak soup and we need a spinach and few spices. So let's start how to make the spinach uh, or palak soup. For a spinach soup we need a spinach I got some baby spinach, one packet of baby spinach. Got a one big uh, tomato, and I got uh, some sweet corns. They are cooked sweet corns. And here I got some spices. I've got a quarter spoon of each. I got a quarter spoon salt, same amount of uh, cumin seeds, carom seeds, haldi, which is turmeric. I got one bay leaf, and I got a frozen. Uh, garlic, I got some leaves of uh, rosemary and uh, they are really nice and uh, give you fresh smell and nice in a taste and I got few leaves of uh, basil leaves they give you really nice smell the basil leaf and rosemary I got uh, on my windowsill they are really fresh I got on my windowsill got a basil leaf and uh, some rosemary as well. It's a fresh rosemary. I'm using it. First of all, we have to roughly chop the baby leaves and the tomato. And then we're gonna cook it in the oil. You can use any oil, which one you prefer. And I'm just using a olive oil today. So just only one spoon olive oil. I'm using it. And after that, uh, I'm going to garnish with the fresh paneer. I got a one small spoon of uh, olive oil. Now I'm going to add uh, bay leaf, cumin seeds and carom seeds first. Just got a really low heat and I'm going to cook about a minute or two. And then I'm going to add uh, uh, garlic in. The spices are cooked. Now we're going to add the tomatoes in. And the tomatoes are like half cooked. We're going to add the basil leaves and rosemary. If you don't have a basil leaf or rosemary, you can do without. But I just got a fresh rosemary and the basil leaves on my windowsill, so I quite like the smell and the taste as well in the soup. Our spices and tomatoes are cooked. Now we're going to add the basil leaf and the rosemary. We don't need to cook that much. And then we're going to add the spinach as well. Baby spinach is really soft. You don't need to finely chopped, just roughly chopped it. And I'm going to add it in. Just keep the uh, heat very low. Otherwise, sometimes, like, you know, they start to burn. And uh, the spinach is going to leave the water. So we don't need to add uh, more water in. So we're going to check it before we add the water, if we need to add the water. Put the spinach in. Now we're going to cover the lid. The, cover the pan with the lid and then we're going to leave it uh, Put the spinach in now the spinach is leaving the water So we don't need to put the extra water in and now I'm going to cover the Pan with the lid and leave it on low heat for about five minutes now It's almost uh, five to six minutes, so I have to check it and Now the we don't need to have a fully cooked the spinach. Now it's about five, six minutes it's been cooking. So now we're just going to switch the heat off and leave it uh, to cool down. And then we're going to grind the spinach in the grinder. Before I grind it, I'm going to take the bay leaves out and uh, let it cool down. And now we're going to switch the heat off and then after five minutes, we're going to grind that. We just grind the spinach. Now we're going to add in the same pan and then check it if we need a little bit of water in. 
and then we're gonna add the cones in now I'll just uh, add about two, two tablespoons of water and now I'm gonna add the corns in and they are boiled corns and I'm gonna cook it about very low heat for five minutes and then hopefully our soup is ready if you don't like corns in your spinach, spinach soup or palak soup you can uh, skip it but I quite like uh, the corns in so I'm gonna cook it for another five minutes now our spinach or palak soup is ready to eat I garnish with the fresh uh, paneer which I made it this morning the paneer's recipe if you want that's already on my channel and I just put a fresh uh, bay leaves top of that so follow this recipe make that uh, soup and enjoy you can eat that in uh, your lunch or a dinner whatever you prefer so if you make that soup let me know how you find this recipe and I'll see you another day with the new recipe for bye for now and God bless everyone bye